coming right in. Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend um, full of celebrations and families, if that's your thing. Um, it's not really our thing, so that's why I say that. Um, but I am going to go to the store and get some things to celebrate with the kids. Um, so we still have Juno. Juno's been a really good girl. The dog's been having a lot of fun with her. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Juno is um, a puppy from Pom Pom and Macchiato. So Pom Pom is right there. And um, Mocha is litter mates with Juno. Um, but they were born back in June. So they're about six months old. Um, and she's a blue Merle. So this is kind of what the blue Merle tricolor looks like as they get older. Um, hi girls. <laughs> I was trying to distinguish between Daisy and Myra in the description and finally settled on tricolor with the freckles. And then Vienna became Glennon with the freckles. Um, oh, and about speaking of Vienna, it is, thing is, Vienna's and Minnie's birthday, um, you guys. Um, so a year ago today, Paris went into labor with her first and only litter. Um, we delivered, <laughs> we delivered Minnie and Vienna here at home. Um, Minnie is, is Jan's puppy, Jan and John, Jan our moderator. Um, uh, I don't even know if I can say Jan's puppy, she's John's puppy. She's such a good girl. Um, so Minnie and Vienna were born here at home on December 31st last year in the evening. Um, and then after Vienna's birth, uh, Paris's labor started to stall. And it, there were a lot of complications. This is Paris right here. Um, there are a lot of complications. We had to take her um, to the emergency vet clinic in the middle of the night. Um, and that's where they delivered the remaining remainder of the litter and the puppy that was stuck didn't make it but um the, the puppies that were all behind the stuck puppy they all made it um and they we were a little worried because before the c-section they did a, a scan to check everybody's health and the puppy that was behind the stuck puppy which was theo um his heart rate was dropping and he was starting to show signs of distress and so we told the vet not to worry about like saving the reproductive organs, just get the puppies out. And so she got the puppies out and um, the, the, remain, the remainder of the litter was all boys. And so they were all born um, between like the hours of one o'clock and three o'clock. It's a little, um, we don't have exact times just because of the C-section and everything. Um, but they have a birthday of January 1st. So it was a lot of fun. Um, they have New Year's Day puppies because it was a really scary delivery. It was the scariest we had had at like two days at that point. Easy stop. Um, and so on New Year's Day morning to bring home a healthy Paris and healthy puppies was really awesome. Um, when we took her into the clinic, we, we brought Minnie and Vienna with so they could nurse. And the the technicians took care of them while Paris was in surgery. This is Paris. Oh, and I not by the computer, but I saw Laydon, Joe, Linda, and Amber. So good good afternoon, you guys. Happy New Year's. Um so but Paris, she was she looked so much better that next morning. They did lab work on her. Um, for surgery and found that she, her, um, um, I don't say her platelets were low. She had been bleeding, um, internally, um, not like, not internally and in like, as in like, um, bleeding out internally, but like the puppies were, um, her contractions trying to get the puppies out were forcefully pushing and so it was forcefully pushing that stuffed puppy up against an area that she couldn't pass. And so that, oh, easy. Anyway, um, those contractions around the, that stuck puppy caused a lot of injury to Paris's reproductive organs because 
and the puppy couldn't go forward, but the contractions were forcing the puppy. Um, and so there were little micro tears um, that were bleeding. And so she was losing, um, she was anemic and she had had, um, she was kind of suffering the effects of those that like, I don't want to call it blood loss because it's not like she was hemorrhaging, but she had other issues just kind of as a complication. Um, and so, um, but she, once she got through the surgery and um, the puppies were delivered, she just looked so much better. Once we, when she was able to rest and um, contractions were over, she just, she, she slept and she was so tired those first few days. Um, I think we even waited to turn the live stream on to, because she was so tired that Hi, my um, we just did a lot of the care of the puppies because she just slept through everything they did. And so we just kind of, we would help them nurse and move them around and make sure that they were getting cleaned up. And so we would wake Paris up to potty them. And, um, but she wasn't very proactive in doing that stuff because she was so tired. And so they were a very busy couple of days, but she pulled through it really well. And um, Yana and Minnie, they they coped with that separation from mom. They they coped with that well. Um, and then the, the puppies that were behind the stuffed puppy that were starting to go into distress, um, they all just rebounded really quickly. At first, the vet told us, I think it was Theo, the vet was concerned about Theo um, not breathing very proactively on his own. And she initially gave us like not a very good prognosis for him, but we've seen this happen to puppies a lot where the birth is so traumatic. It's just, they have kind of a couple, that first like 12 hours, they're um, just not, they just, they just need, it's like they, they don't want to, um, they're reluctant to agree to live outside the womb. And so they're a little stubborn about it, but they, once you give them some time, they eventually kind of come around. Um, but they didn't give us a very good prognosis for Theo and he turned around and did great. He's a lot like Rio. He looks like Rio. He looks a lot like Rio too. I know you don't like to play. You like to be fun police too. Myra, you're a good girl. Um, but we'll be our live stream. We're going to run all New Year's Eve. Um, we're going to keep it. Oh, Daisy. Oh, man. That's when she got her tongue in my mouth as I closed it. And so I, like, closed my mouth on her tongue. That was really gross. Um, we're going to keep the live stream on um, all Christmas or all New Year's Eve. Um, so if you want to stop by and say hi. Um, before your New Year's parties or after your New Year's parties, we'll be here. Um, we, Drew and I were kind of limited with what we can kind of, we, we can really go out and do because we have so many dogs. It would be a lot to ask our neighbor to come over and feed them and let them out. And so we just don't want to put that on other people. Um, and so, and that's why we offer, um, basically our doggy daycare to, to puppies like Juno. Um, because if we're stuck here, we might as well um, take care of some of the puppies so that other families can not be stuck at their homes. And then the puppies all, it's like Juno has a great, it's like going to camp. Juno comes to summer camp. Um, you're a good girl. Um, oh, but now that like Christmas is winding down and like the holidays are all starting to wind down. Um, this is when I wanted to start making more videos for our channel. Um, and so if there's anything you wanted to, more information about, let us know. Um, I had, there's a few different topic ideas that I'm working on. Um, one of them is discussing like ESA dogs versus psychiatric service dogs. Um, another one is about dominant dogs and submissive dogs and how to manage the different personalities. 
Um, I was going to do a toenail trim video. Um, and there's some other things I'm working on. So if there's anything that you, um, you know, like there's a lot of, there's things like, like toenail clipping that we get asked a lot about. And, um, so that's why I want to make one video and then it just says searchable. Um, and then we can also direct people to it. Um, but it's difficult on the live stream to show you close up kind of what we're talking about sometimes. And so that's why I wanted to make an individual video about some of these things that we'll discuss during a live stream because it's it's difficult to extract it from a live stream into a more digestible format um, unless we just make a, a small five minute video about it. You're a good girl, Myra. You just want to laugh, don't you? You just want to laugh. You need your toenails trimmed, huh? You need a toenail trim too. You're such a good girl. Your next puppies are going to be with Macchiato. What do you think of that? Mocha and Juno are just two peas in a pod. Mocha's dad said that when they brought her home after Thanksgiving that she just slept for days. <laughs> that makes me so happy. That means that she had a lot of fun. Hey girls, all right, I want to go check the stream to see who's signed on so I can say hello. All right, Myra. Hello. Oh, and I saw somebody comment asking if Myra is, um, you know, having a little trouble adjusting with Charlotte. And I actually wanted to mention that because I hadn't considered that. Um, if you've been watching our stream last few days, you may know Charlotte went home a couple days ago on the 29th. Um, and Myra, the last few days, she has, she'll just stand at the gate and she'll just bark and howl. And, um, there doesn't seem to be any remedy. We'll bring her out. We'll bring her to be with us. Um, and she's like, she'll, she'll, you know, sit and get her attention, but there is um, something that is bothering her that we can't seem to pinpoint. Um, you know, it's not just like an isolated situation where she wants attention because um, it continues. You know, we bring her back in here and then it's the same thing where she just is kind of lost. Um, but that can happen too with um, especially a first litter and they haven't seen their litters go home before. Um, and when you consider that Charlotte was the last puppy and Charlotte also lived here with the pack for a solid four weeks beyond the other puppies. And so Daisy, Daisy, I can't believe you do that with me in here. You get down. Can you believe her? Hey there, Valerie and Clover. Good afternoon, Cynthia and Soft Cookie. Hey there, Sue. Jan, good afternoon and happy birthday to Mimi. Beth, how are you? Diana, Diana, Kelly, and Rico, and Brenda, is it? I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year's Eve. Hi, Daisy Blue. I can't believe Robin's getting along with Juno. That's weird. I know I didn't. Daisy, what's up? Oops. Vienna, Vienna birthday girl. Vienna birthday girl. This is our birthday girl. And Minnie is basically Vienna minus the freckles. That's what Minnie looks like, almost. But it's their first birthday. 
And Mia has been doing an awesome job um, sleeping in Bella's room. She can now climb up and down Bella's slide. We've got a blanket affixed so that she, she gets a little like running start and kind of runs up the beginning of the slide and then catches the blanket and then keeps climbing. Um, and then she's got a potty tray at the bottom of, of the slide that she can, she climbs down and can go use the potty tray. So uh, she's got a really good setup in there and she uses it really well. I think we, um, I think we waited an appropriate amount of time instead of just putting her up there with Bella and kind of hoping for the best. Um, we waited until the potty training is down. Um, and so she's at the age where she would rather just hold her potty and go outside than just pee um, in the bedroom. And so that's how we decided to start taking her up there. Um, and Bella does really, really well. She um, will hear her. We have a monitor in there still. And so we'll hear her on the monitor. Vienna, go potty. Vienna, go potty. She, she'll potty her in the tray. She knows exactly what to do. She's, she's really good with her. She's a very good puppy mama. So she's very proud of her for reaching her first birthday. She's a good girl. Vienna's a good girl. She's so good to Bella. She, um, whenever she's learned too that Bella's room is like her room, because whenever we come up to the gate, she will try to sneak through, and um, she just makes a right, a right up the stairs, and goes right up to Bella's room. And so it makes us really happy because at Bella's age, we didn't know if she was going to, you know, a lot of dogs um, really prefer either older kids or adults, you know, when they pick a person. Um, and you know how like dogs, they really have to click with their people and you either click with your dog and you have a really great relationship with them or somebody else in your family does, but there's usually somebody, you know, dogs, just like with people, you know, you click with some and you click better with some than others. And so, um, you know, Bella being five, just turning five when Vienna was born, we didn't know if she was going to be old enough to um, have the maturity for Vienna to click well with. And so, but luckily, luckily, they, they fit really well together. They balance each other very nicely. Vienna has the perfect amount of excitement for Bella, um, but she's also happy to lay down and relax when Bella is. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're such a good girl, Vienna. You're such a good girl. You've got a good moment. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Missy does not want Remy to have that toy. Well, I'm not sure if she's growling at Remy or if she's growling at Vienna for kind of rolling on her. Oh, it must be Remy. You are such a good girl. Do you like your Minnie Mouse shirt? Your Mickey Mouse shirt? I love, I love how we've been able to, well, Juno has kind of, it's just worked out that she's come over every like four to six weeks. And it's so nice getting to have her over for a few days, once a month and getting to see like where she's at a month later and kind of being part of all of that, um, you know, all the stages of development that she goes through. It's, it's a lot of fun to see, um, to see her grow up with her family um, and be, you know, not like directly involved in it, but be able to see from enough of a distance that we can, we can watch, but we're close enough to be involved and, um, you know, give some tips when they need it or answer questions and, you know, help with different, um, you know, like tr trimming her toenails. She gives her mom a really hard time about toenail trims, but she doesn't do it with me. So I always try to clip her toenails when she's here. Um, I don't know why she does that. I don't know why you do that, but I'm happy to clip your nails if you'll just let me do it instead of giving your mom a hard time. 
but it's been a lot of fun to see Judo continue to grow and develop, like be a big dog with her family and, you know, going from a little bitty helpless puppy to making all these memories with her family. You know, so whenever they come over, they'll share with us whatever the latest shenanigans are at their house that Juno has been part of. Or she's been party to. And it was funny because they bring her in and she comes running in and I pet her and she is so soft. You know, his some of the softest fur. And then, but I think I've just gotten used to Mocha because Mocha ran over to Juno's dad and he's also the very same thing where he felt her and was like, Holy smokes, your fur is really soft. I'm just crazy the first one that's ever <laughs> They love their every they love when I come in with my water bottle because they learned that when I fill my water bottle, I give them my spoons. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just toss okay. them. I always toss them. Just like give them a toss out of the floor. Oh, a handful so they can share. I always get like a handful of five or six and then just kind of toss them out of the floor. <laughs> So May left um, the day after Christmas to go to her dad's house, and she did not take Paris with her that time. And Paris, when May doesn't take her with um, somewhere that like isn't school that she goes to, Paris goes into like a depression. Um, you know, the normal playful Paris that barks at the other dogs to play, that Paris disappears, and Paris that we have is one that just kind of lays around and um, she gets very sad. It's really sad. Um, and May came home a couple, she was scheduled to still be there. And so you can imagine like the, she came home pretty early. So um, Paris, I think the visit was a lot longer for Paris than maybe May because Paris, when May came into the, the house, Paris went running over to her and it reminded me of a little reunion, reminded me of those going, those um, welcome home videos of soldiers being reunited with their dogs. That was how intense Paris was. Um, so she, Paris really, really loves her, her May, her person. Um, and it's interesting to see her, um, it's interesting to see their relationship kind of progress and they get, they get closer and, you know, you see different things happen where, um, you know, May will be comforting Paris and vice versa. And then something like this happens where May will need to be gone and all this growth and bonding that they've done, you can see how um, lost she is, Paris, when, when May is not there. And, um, it's it's really sad in the moment, and we're Drew and I are there for Paris, and we comfort her and all that stuff. We play with her and give her lots of attention. Um, but it also shows shows us just how how much she lives for May. Like she really does live for 
quarter person. Um, that's where her happiness is found in life. Um, something that I always learned, or something I always kept in my mind when I was growing up with the dog rescues, rescues and um, teaching them fly ball and agility and, and, and herding, um, was that for the dogs to be happy and content, and we found this with a lot of the rescue dogs too, is when they have a job, when they have a job, and it can be really simple. It doesn't have to be like complicated. They don't have to be a full-blown service dog. But if they just have a job that they feel responsible for doing something or being part of something that makes you happy, that seems to be what um, motivates not just Cavaliers, but just any dog. If they have a job in, in their life, whether it's every single day or um, like our fly ball dogs, we did fly ball tournaments. And so when they, when we competed in fly ball tournaments, when they did well, you know, it made us happy. Like, you know, it was, it was a happy sport and the dogs enjoyed it because they enjoyed doing the sport because they also enjoyed how much joy it brought to their people, their families. And Paris is taken very seriously her role as an ESA. Um, she really seems to worry when May's not here. Um, so, I mean, May is like the central focal point of her day. And so when May has to be gone for a couple of days, um, she just gets really lost. Don't you? You get really lost. Yes, you do. You're such a good girl, Paris. You are such a good girl. <laughs> Paris is like the epitome. She epitomizes what a great cavalier is. She has all the um, all the traits of a cavalier. What makes a great cavalier great? Like all roll into one. She is a very special dog, aren't you, Paris? It's a very special Vienna. Okay. Hi, Remy. Remy. I was going to see if Juno likes the laser light, but I'm afraid that's too much activity for all the dogs together. How dominant everybody is. I think that'd be fun. We haven't used it much while I was here. I'm going to say, here, let's shut the door and. Oh yeah, you should have seen Paris go crazy for it. So she waits for it to come back. I think Paris is actually really, really good at it. You see, Paris is good. You should turn 
it on the automatic one. <laughs> it's on the floor behind Remy. <laughs> Good job, Paris. Look again, Paris. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Paris. Good job, Paris. The dog show is away from the ass. No. <laughs> Man, Myra, you get intense. Paris was uh, what's fun about Paris is she's like she's just playing. Whereas no, they're not. Not Myra's me. like ah, ah. You got it! You got it! You got it! Good doggies! Good doggies! <laughs> Mitty, or Missy. Her legs. Splutin. I'm sorry, dogs. Light has to go to bed for now. Okay, I'll come back in a moment. Dogs, you can move. Laundry <laughs> needs to be to be got. For anybody wondering, this is what they're playing with. It's got so turn it on and you could just use it handheld. Um, but then there's an auto function, which is what I had just switched it to. Um, and it just kind of at random goes wherever. Uh, and so this is that. The light comes out from here. But they love it. They love it. I think Juno is more entertained by watching all the dogs. You'll see Paris and Robin and Myra all continue to look for it. Even like long after we've shut it off, they'll go outside, they'll come back in, it'll be the first thing they look for is the light on the wall. They really enjoy it. Can I turn the laser back on? Yes. You can turn the bottom button is the power button and then um to turn it on to the auto and tap the top button. Wait, hold it. 
No, it doesn't need to be cold. Okay. Oh, we gotta plug it in. an eye on them and don't leave them unsupervised with it because sometimes they will start getting grouchy with each other. It just goes um, in a circle. It adjusts the height. So like dad adjusted it so that it was going up to the box. So be careful not to do that so they don't put their necks trying to Can I make it go in here? I would just leave it the way it is instead of messing with it. It's already a little touchy because um or you like you just already have to be careful to have dogs to get a little carried away. They aren't letting Ferris get it. Well, well I guess she she's kind of got a chance now. She's got to try. She does put some effort in. Are you going to try and get it, Ferris? <laughs> Thank you. 
Harris, come on. Harris, come on.
She can be anywhere. 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 She can Sharpener, the electric one. What? The electric one. Yeah, can, can we use it, please? Woo! Where is it? I want to pick up the pencils and put them up here, please, so the doggies don't get them and chew them. Where did they go? Hold on. I'm Put them up here. Put them right here. Six. Okay. What about my birthday one? No, we're not going to use that little guy. We need to find the little It's not a little guy. Oh, oh that's fine. That's fine. It has a eraser. Yeah, but it has a eraser. Eraser. Come on, Paris. Come on, Paris. Come on, Paris. 
Yeah, don't get the pots for these. So okay. that we don't run around with them. Okay. Be in the uh, in the box. to go draw.
Year's Eve. Man, what time is it? It's 2 o'clock, and right now we don't have any of preachers. Is New Year's Eve stuff something we need to go to for John's and all? Dad! Lola. Can you get a charger for my iPad? I wonder what their hours are today. Bella, you can go and get a charger yourself. No. Yes, you can, Bella. Does my battery box need to charge? For my battery box!
Yeah, stop. What's going on? What have you got? What are you... What's wrong, bro? No! Get away from there. Gross. Stop it. Robin, is that you? What's going on? It's pretty hard. What is wrong, Robin? You're not feeling well? What's going on? Thank you, Dad. Dad, you in there? Huh? Bradley is super grateful that you charged Bella's backup headphones because he's on his MetaQuest down there and he wants to have the mic on, but she's got her iPad going because her headphones passed oh. away. And so Bradley came upstairs and he's, they're having some disagreements about it. Oh, I see. And so I was like, fear not. Dad's enough. got you covered. Wait, so are Bella's headphones not working? No, they just passed away because they have so much flashy lights, they, the battery don't last. Wait. I don't know. She's also said that they passed away and they really hadn't, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't think because, like, she hasn't used them all day. And they were fully charged when I took them off this morning. Oh, I can hear Okay, good girl. There you guys go. Let's try it.
Right. 
No. Stop. What is in Yeah. 
The squad's not open. There's nothing I can do. I also don't want to be thing today because I think I'm pretty injured. Oh, yeah. And then I needed. Oh, well, yeah. I often need it to like be things to walls. Yeah, I remember what it is for. But it can be. Oh shoot! I never turned this in!
What? No. Oh. Nope. Kristen, <laughs> sorry, you can't go in there. So we um we are
Thank you. 
We should put shit bags at home. Yeah. What? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's what it is. What are you guys gonna sound like? Oh! That sometimes happens. <laughs> that sometimes happens. Yeah. No, actually. Let's it would also make noises like. Okay, inhale deeply, like. Like, do that. Because yeah. it'll, like. It'll, like, when you're in, you feel like a lot of pressure, and then when you. And keep inhaling, it'll, it'll eventually like, it'll eventually like, it'll make a loud noise like a poppy. And then, oh my gosh. And then, uh, it'll, sometimes it can make like a sneaky noise. It sounds like a puff of air. When um, you're trying to run away, it gives up. First. I think those days just like last night. Yeah. This. Does not make your chocolate milk chocolate milk. What? <laughs> it doesn't make your chocolate milk like chocolate milk. Mm. It makes it like half chocolate milk, and no, no matter how much you add, it doesn't mix it more, make it more chocolatey. Huh. Oh my gosh! I forgot about that! What? These are the best. Hmm. Those chips for what? Mm-hmm. Chip, chip for what? That's what they're about. The best cookie brand. We've got like, we've also got, um, at Dollar General, we got, and like, zebra cakes, I think. We got, um, no! Last time I got a Capri Sun out of this, I pulled out a, um, I pulled out a, uh, I pulled out a Pacific Cooler. Last time I grabbed out of that box. Um, probably the last from the other box, not those from that box. Like you would just open it? No, it would, it was... Definitely like halfway done. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Their dad probably put the leftover from the last box into that box. Yeah. But basically, uh, we also got a bunch of Oreos. Um, I don't know. There's a few other things we got. Can't remember though. Rank the Capri Sun flavors from um the whole box we got. Number one, fruit punch. Second is Pacific Cooler, and third is strawberry kiwi. No. Yeah. Pacific Cooler first. Um, strawberry kiwi second. No, then one third. Fruit punch in third. Unless I'm getting the flavors mixed up, I can't really remember what they all taste like, but 
just for neck up here. Probably the days one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. The date is one, two, three, one, two, three. She's trying, like, she's trying to eat stuff. So, hi folks. Happy New Year. Um, so, I don't know if you guys were able to see, but <clears throat> Drew, Drew saw Robin vomiting and looked a little bit closer, like vomiting over and over, looked a little bit closer. And um, it appears she has a stick stuck in her throat. And... So we, he got some gloves and tried to reach in and grab it, and he can't reach it. Um, I, I can feel it on the on the ends of my fingers. I just can't I don't feel all of it. Without um, her, before, yes, gagging and her. Yeah. You know. Um, and she's like salivating a lot. Her body's really trying to get rid of it. Um, so I called our emergency vet here and. They don't have a scope, and so they suggested I call um, the University of Illinois here, um, the U of I, um, their vet school, and they have a scope, and so I called them. We're going to take her into um, the emergency vet there, um, and they will hopefully be able to get the stick out because Robin, I don't know why she's eating sticks and getting them stuck, but we got to get it out, and we got to get it out safely. Yeah, so. Think Anybody wants to lose Miss Robin? Everyone seems to love a Robin dog. She's such a good girl. Robin, Robin got in, into a lot of dangerous. I'm like things. nervous to put a collar on her. Yeah, help her collar. Do you think I can just put her in that travel carrier? <laughs> Do you want her? You want the carrier? I was wondering if she would fit in that. Do that or we can put her in the crate. And then I'm going to need to call her to take her in the bed. Dogs like to eat 
So bad cramming her in the little hearing or right oh. <laughs> Yeah, and at first she was like spinning around in it, but like now she's starting to chill. Watch out, dogs. Right there in front of you. Oh, there it is. Bobby. You want your coat? Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight. 
and if you go to my room, and if somebody needs to use the bathroom, they come down to me. She goes to a bunch of clothes. And so she goes to the bathroom down there. But also, you're not fine. You're not fine, because you have three rooms. You have three rooms. That one, those are quarters, and the guest room. Well, I don't really mm -hmm. listen. Open quarters room, well, not that much, but the guest bedroom or open quarters room is kind of like the backup because I am never going back up there. Why? I don't know what to do. During the winter, it is freezing cold, and during the summer, I'm really sweating. Mom and Dad always told me that I have to stay in there. <laughs> I made letting you have three rooms. I don't even use it! Then take your stuff out of it. I don't mind you. We didn't have, have a plan on how we're going to use it. You have to take your stuff out of it. Are you going to? We're going to make it all in that room. We're going to put all the meat in the room. We're going to put a shelving in it, a and we're going to have. All the artists and supplies, we No, not for me and Tilly. For a <laughs> <good one. laughs> <laughs>
Hello, what are you doing? Bella, stop. Bella. Stop.
Not like people are struck. People here. 
Dark Horse.
And then you color black, black, and then you color it back.
This is for copying uh, pictures. For copying pictures. You knock next time for copying uh -huh. pictures. And, and so I was like, and we're copying pictures at that age. Uh -huh. And I'm turning off the. And I was in the habit of knocking uh, because at our house we could help someone. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Uh, I don't think I'm Okay. Gigi or Gigi Pop? So you walk on Gigi Pop and you walk around Gigi. Yes. And I avoided the entire rest of the evening because it was embarrassing. And then the next evening after that, I also did the same thing. And then what? one room And you weren't knocking? You still weren't knocking? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, no. I didn't walk in on them again. I, oh, you just avoided I, them. Yeah, I avoided them because it was so embarrassing. I thought they think. Okay. I bet you didn't remember it. And we, after that reunion, we never went to one again. And so I don't know. The child of the child. Bella, don't swing that around. Is that the dogs? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, look at you now. Dad. Hello. Oh, wow. Look at you now. Look at you now. When she sees me, oh, she likes. Hello. Hello. You know, thanks. Things because they copied it off of a smaller business that did that. 
Concentration is. What? You don't know what the concentration is. But it's the second like <laughs> ingredient. Exactly. You don't know what concentration is. So it says it has. The, it's the second most ingredient. Yep. But that first ingredient could be ninety nine percent of it. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Because it's not telling you how much is in there. It's telling you that. This ingredient, the first ingredient is used the most, the second ingredient is used the second most, but you don't know what the ratios are. Oh, 
Any idea that we could cook?
may be surprised. Because we thought that they weren't going to pick up trash, and then all the whole we have to drive by. And then we have to wait another two weeks before we got our trash picked again. That's because we're not keeping track of time. Last weekend, last weekend we did it. We didn't do last weekend. We did not do trash last weekend. It's today. Trash is today. What I meant is I don't know if they're picking up tomorrow because because it's New Year's. <laughs> that actually I did this. It was so cool. <laughs> Wait, how old were you when when we were flying on the stairs? How old were you when we were flying down the stairs? You slid down the stairs. Probably like eleven. How old were you? Probably eleven. I was four. So that makes sense. And Brian was mine, and you were eleven. Right there. Mm -hmm. that right. And our stairs was clean. What? Right there. Our stairs were clean, yes. and now they're messy. What do you mean? What are you seeing? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. What are you seeing? Stop! Ow. <laughs> what are you doing? You okay, Bella? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that. You crashed. I did this and it hit me. I got a eye for somebody. No, oh, Bella. Come on. Pick your stuff up. <laughs> Bella. Oh, gee, Bella. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, look. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that. Mm. I fall.
Hey, can you set an alarm, please? Ten minutes. Why? Why not? For our race. <laughs>
love it. Oh, my God. Can you repeat it, please? Yeah. Actually, never mind, mate. You can shut it off. What? Do you know? 
it up and then taste it. Well, that's not cuckoo's do. Yes, that is. No. Go. No. Go. No. No. Yeah. I said the gourmand cheese. 
So good. I'm glad you like it, Dalshan. So good. But it doesn't sound like a joke. Thank you. 
What are you chewing on? What have you got? Drop it. Thanks, Dad. You are welcome. Bella. Why rice is boring? I'm sorry, rice is boring. White rice. White rice is boring. Well, try it with your sauce. A little bit of sauce in the uh, in your rice. Also spicy. It's mm -hmm. sour. It's, it's, it's sweet. She was running late. Yeah, because uh, it was three thirty when uh. Wow. Three thirty. It was three thirty when uh, I was playing one of the games on the Xbox, and that was before I mom, even knew of the Mom home. had no. I was left long before that. Before you were playing, yeah. Before you were playing the Xbox. She she left way. I was playing 
Oh, that was after. Dad, you told me this wasn't spicy. It's not supposed to. It is. I don't know what you guys want. It's sweet and sour. It's not sour. Oh, well, if you don't taste it, it's kind of sour. But if you do taste it, like on your tongue, it's spicy. If you don't taste it, then it's sour. And the cinnamon taste it. When, whenever it goes in my flow, I can taste like a flavor. Whenever it, I swallow it, I can taste like an add-on flavor. What? Oh, Dad, you know the Swarm game I got? Yeah. It is so fun. Oh, is it? Swarm game. Yeah. On the Oculus. Yeah. It's really fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hate being left on bread so much. Wait, you're not eating anything. Eating a crab. 
about your life? Why are you peeling your crab? Look at it. It looks like Christmas lights. <laughs> How'd you do that? Peel the layers. How you doing, Bella? You beat me, baby. Dad, you love your children. I love you guys very much. Sure. Yeah, very sure. He always loves wrong with it. I love you guys. Oh, no, you don't. That you will always be my children. Nothing can ever change that. Cheeseburger. 
It has ketchup and pickles on it, brother. I'm, I don't care. I want a cheeseburger. Oh, no. Cut it in half. No. I, can't, I can't eat any food. No, I think it's all mine. Cheeseburger. So I can't eat any my cheeseburger. There you go. No! I want more rice. I changed my mind. Put a cheeseburger. Put a cheeseburger in half. Put a cheeseburger in half. Where's my bite? You always ate. This is the only one you've been eating yesterday. You always did that when me and Bella had to share it. I don't want to have a cheeseburger. Bradley, that was because it wasn't McDonald's. Yeah. Since it's McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's. I wouldn't change my Bradley. You didn't have all this food there. No. I'm full. The crab food was awesome. Ew. The sauce is spicy. Man, your nose is red. What is the red card on the red Yeah, her criminal money. I mean, 
I have over. I have over. That I have. I have over. I have like five hundred in my wallet. Oh. Yeah. Do you give me permission to do that? Wow, man! I have like five hundred dollars.
Dad, do you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to take one. Dad, look. Dad, look. Look. Dad, first. Alright, I spot about that.
You have done it.
Ten o'clock. Two. Three. This. Two. This. 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 Hey, you need something cold. You need something cold? Yeah. No, you don't. 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 No. Yes, I do. Out of there. Dogs? Get out of there. All right. I see that you doggies are hungry. And it's awesome.
Bella. Can you be up here? Still allowed. Well, Bella, why don't you go and take your iPad to... You can take your iPad downstairs, or you can take it to our, uh, my bedroom, in mommy's bedroom. I gotta feed the doggies. I have some. No. <laughs> Come on, Bell Bell. Come on, baby. I'm oh, sorry, Rod. Bell, come on. You can go downstairs, or you can go to Mommy and Daddy's bed. No, it's a song. That song. You know what I'm talking about? Juno, Juno, Juno. Hey, I'm down with the
No. Rush.
Guys, keep it down.
this.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Myra, be quiet. I know, but I'll open the mom's time. These ones are not open. Mine is open. Mayo. I call you Mayo. 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 What's your name of me? And then we do one that you that you dip your food in. Let's call you what? It's where you dip your food. What's where you dip your food? Like you you squeeze it and it comes out of the bottle. Okay. Mayo. Because it starts with the M, then A, then the and uh, yeah. Why? Cause, you, Cause it starts with the N, like you. Oh. May and Maria. You guys right? Who? Maria. Maria. The, the girl in my class. Okay. I don't I'm... know the girl in your class. Bro? You did not know. No, I don't. Hey, do you know what I'm looking for? Hey, do you know what I'm looking for? Hmm? Do you know what I'm looking for? Oh, found it. <laughs>
Bella, I'm calling your iPad. Because she said she couldn't find it. Myra. Four, six, eight, five. Where are my heavy food?
Lay down, doggos. Hey everybody, so we got an update from Elizabeth. I forgot it's probably like 15 minutes ago. Um, they couldn't see anything uh, visually when they were just looking at Robin. And so now what's been going on is they've been waiting. They, they had to sedate Robin uh, and get some x-rays of her. And then they had to send her the, the x-rays off to be read uh and they can see that there's a small stick deep down uh in her esophagus and so they are giving her heavy sedation and they're going to try and retrieve it um through her uh, through her mouth and hopefully they can get it that way um, and so that's just the latest right now, but we will, uh, and keep you updated. Hey. Thank you. 
Oh. Hush. Bam.
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Happy New Year's East Coast. Hang on, I need to put something on for me. Yeah. Uh, that's, not, that's not a New Year's thing. That is a Christmas thing. Christmas is over. Well, no. got like 340, 40, like. No, it's been forty-eight. It's been six days. It's been six days. Yeah, three hundred forty-eight. No, it's been seven days. Rather, three hundred fifty-six. So it's three hundred fifty days until Christmas. It's three hundred fifty days until Christmas, May. 
And well, not Bradley Field. Actually, actually, New York's not right. So it's Jeff for 66 days next year. Bradley, where's your cup, dude? Do you know who I told you! Oh, you, you really want this? Because there's all that, it wasn't even that, that bubbly. I told, I knew it! You were just gonna put water with orange flavor in it! Get a, a dusty bo bottle. Hey, Bradley! Bradley! Go brush your teeth. Bradley, Bradley, do you want a nice old dusty bottle of <laughs> San Pellegrino? Yes? Sure. Pellegrino. Why is it so dusty? Because it came from the equal sellers. What? Oh, the four seasons. <laughs> what's what's Pellegrino?
Now.
Paris. Paris, come here. Come here, Paris. Go to bed. Come on. Thank you.